Like you, I journey on the interwebs, and I keep seeing this question pop up all the time. What amp should I get to go with my new acoustic electric guitar? Should I get this Fender Twin? Should I get this Hot Rod Deluxe? With a bunch of us scratching our heads going, no, you should get an acoustic amp. And I'm gonna tell you why, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, follow the link in our description and learn how to become an Alamo Music Insider. So, as I said, I see this question pop up a lot. We get it in our store. I see it online. People who have a new acoustic electric guitar, like this Taylor 714C or something else that they can plug in, are soon wondering what to get. So what amp should I purchase? Um, I also see this question a lot of times for people who already have guitars, maybe like an electric guitar. Can I plug my acoustic guitar into my electric guitar? Should I get this Fender Twin? Should I get this Marshall? Should I get this Boogie, whatever? You know, insert electric guitar amp here. Go back in time, should I get this crate? Ah, oh, the 90s. Anyways, so <laughs> people are always asking this question. He, he, I'm gonna answer the question two ways. Can you plug in your new acoustic electric guitar into your electric guitar amp if you already have one? Yes, you can do that. But like Dr. Ian Malcolm once asked, just because you can doesn't mean that you should, right? Yeah, right, exactly. You maybe shouldn't do that. If you have the opportunity to purchase an amp specifically for your acoustic guitar, you really should. And the question comes down to uh, why? So let's talk a little bit about it. I've got two amps over my shoulder here to represent two options that you might have for your gigging or your practice amp. What we have in one corner is the new Fender VibroChamp Reverb amp. And in the other corner, we have the new Fender Acoustic Junior amp. Now, both of these are great amps, but they do very, very different things. Let's talk about the electric guitar amp, first of all. This is a small five watt tube amp. It's got a single 10 inch speaker in it. And you've got basic controls on the front of it. You've got your volume, you've got your treble bass, you've got controls for reverb, controls for the tremolo circuit that's on it as well. And that's it. It's a single channel amp. You can plug one instrument into it. Um, you can't plug a microphone into it or anything like that. It is an electric guitar amp. It has, remember, that single spe speaker and it is a tube amp. Now this is going to be great for an electric guitar. Five watts, you can really get it to break up at a low volume. You don't have to crank it up super loud in order to get that groovy kind of tube overdrive that we love so much, that squishy compression that you get out of those tubes becoming really saturated in the power section. I mean, that's, that's the kind of stuff that you want. If you plug a Telestrat, Les Paul into this and you crank it, it's going to sound fantastic. It's got, it has great spring reverb in it and you have that tremolo circuit that Fender's famous for. You can also get the nice Fender clean sounds which we'll actually be using for this video because I'm not plugging a Strat or Tele or Les Paul or anything else into it. I'm plugging a Taylor Acoustic Electric Guitar into it. So yeah, you, you have that amp. It's a great amp. In the other corner we have the new Fender Acoustic Junior. This is a new addition to their acoustic lineup. It is a 100 watt amp. It is two separate channels that have the same controls. You've got your treble, mid, and bass. You've got a phase switch. You've got your volume. You have built-in effects. This one even has a looper, which I will not be uh, demonstrating for you today because I don't have the foot pedal handy. And I will go on record as saying, this is a very cool amp. It's got tilt back, it's got Bluetooth. You can stream your phone to it and play along with it. It's got some really great features on it. But I think to utilize the looper, you really need a foot switch and it doesn't come with it. So keep that in mind if you're looking at one of these amps. Fantastic amp, accessory not included and definitely needed if you want to take advantage of the effects that are in it, like the reverbs, and switch between those on the fly, and definitely if you want to take advantage of the looper. I've never figured out how to play guitar with two hands and then accentuate a looper with a button on top of the amp. So, sorry, I don't know how to, maybe you can hire someone to do it, I don't know. But what's unique about this amp is it's got an eight inch speaker, and then it's got a high range or high frequency tweeter on it as well. And that is one of the biggest distinctions between electric and acoustic guitar amps. So if you think about an electric guitar amp, the single speaker, speaker that's in it is basically just a mid-range speaker. If you plug a bass guitar into an electric guitar amp, it also, it's going to sound 
a bit like pip farting on a snare drum. It's not going to sound the best. In fact, you could effectively do damage if you turn it way up and you're really hitting some low end uh, you know, notes with a bass guitar because it's not designed to deal with those frequencies. It's also not meant to fully replicate the sound of high end stuff. So if you plug an acoustic guitar into it, it's not going to sound good on an electric gu guitar amp. Guess what else isn't going to sound good? A keyboard that has both low end and high end coming out of it. And here's one for you that I want you to think of, your voice. Now, first of all, it's difficult to plug a, a microphone into that anyway. It doesn't have an XLR input. But if you did happen to have a microphone with a connection going in quarter inch into the electric guitar amp, it also is not going to sound very good. Your voice is going to sound kind of muffled and nasally. Like that, like I do in October every year because we're in San Antonio and there's allergies. Anyway, you don't plug a, <laughs> a microphone into it and try to sing and expect to have high fidelity sound. Now that hi-fi, high fidelity comes with high frequency or full range. That's really the sound that you want to get. And what that is designed to do is really replicate the sound of the human voice as accurately as possible. And in a lot of ways, an acoustic guitar kind of has a lot of those frequencies going on with it as well. You've got some low end, you've got some mid end, you've got some high end. And that crisp high end is something that we particularly associate with acoustic guitar. So with an acoustic guitar amp, whether it's a small one like this or a much bigger system, what you have is an amp that's designed for full range replication of sound. So this amp, you can plug an acoustic guitar into, but it's also good enough to plug a microphone into and utilize with your voice. In fact, that's why it has two channels on it that are pretty much the same. It has a combination connection that uses either um, a quarter inch connection or an XLR connection, and you can plug a guitar or a mic into either channel, that, vice versa, um, because it's designed, again, to replicate those sounds. So I'm going to demonstrate for you what I'm talking about. The way we set this up is I've got this guitar, ES2 equipped Taylor 714 CE, running out of this into an AB box. The AB box is going to each amp. We've got uh, the, the Fender VibroChamp on one channel, or, or one side of the AB box, and then, of course, the Acoustic uh, Junior on the other one. So this first one is going to be the electric guitar amp. Just take a listen. Now, we're, what we're doing to mic this so that you can hear kind of what we're hearing in the room is we're running this through a warm, uh, small diameter condenser, WA-84, I think. Um, and so that's kind of pulled back from the amp. You're hearing really what we're hearing in the room, which means this is a representation of what your ear is going to hear. So once again, here's the electric, and then I'm just going to switch to the acoustic, and we'll talk a little bit about it. Now that's a lot more representative of what we expect an acoustic guitar to sound like. Now there's a few things that I want you to pay attention to. We're going to A, B back and forth again, but I want you to pick up on these things. One, there's kind of more of an immediate attack on the electric amp and more compression going on. That's typical of tube amps anyway. But you're going to have less dynamic range because you don't have full range speakers. And so really what you're getting is the meaty part of the frequency, that mid-range, and you're getting smacked right in the face with it. When we switch over to the acoustic amp, you have high fidelity, full range speakers going on. And so the sound's not compressed, which means there's also more dynamic range. If I play harder or if I play softer, you're going to hear the differences in the, in the dynamics as a result of that. You also hear more low end in addition to the mid-range, you're also hearing a lot of high end, and basically there's like airiness, there's space that's going on with it. Now I do have some reverb dialed in. I mentioned the Acoustic Junior has a bunch of effects. I just have some of the, uh, a little bit of the room reverb, and I've got some of the spring reverb on the VibroChamp that's dialed in as well. But that's not where the space is coming from. The space is coming from the fact that the frequency of the guitar hasn't been squished by the electric amp. So 
Let's go again. We're going to start with the acoustic amp this time, and I'm going to switch back and forth so that you can hear the difference while I play. So hopefully you were able to see kind of through this demonstration exactly how dramatic of a difference it can be. So going back to the original question, can you plug an acoustic electric guitar into an electric guitar amp that you either already own or that you're looking at purchasing? Yes. Should you? Not if you want the best sound. If you want a tone that really replicates what we want out of an acoustic guitar, then you really need to get an acoustic amp or a PA system. A PA system, also as known as a public address system, typically what you would expect from a sound system installed in a coffee shop, church, or pretty much anywhere that's utilized to replicate the sound of the human voice is also going to be what you want for an acoustic guitar. And at the end of the day, the truth is that an acoustic guitar amp is really just a shrunk down PA system, effectively, with you know, effects and things like that thrown in that us guitar players like to utilize. So I'm hoping that this demonstration really drives the point home. Now, one caveat that I will add, there are on the market a few amps, there aren't very many, that do both. So if you have uh, an acoustic guitar and you have an electric guitar, or you have a hybrid like a Taylor T5, Acoustasonic, um, you know, a Godin, what have you, and you want one amp that does everything, you can look for those amps that are designed to do both. But a word, word of warning, they tend to be expensive for the good ones. You know, like a Riviera Sedona is a fantastic example of an amp that does both and does it very, very well, but it's also very expensive. If you're looking for something that you're just going to use at home or for small gigs, check out the Fender Acoustic line, the Fishman uh, Loudbox line, uh, LR Bax has a cool, you know, there's a number of acoustic amps out there, AER and whatnot, um, or just look for a small PA system that might suit your needs very, very well. At the end of the day, really, a lot of this, of what we should choose, really comes down to the instrument you're plugging into it, the things that you want to utilize it for, both from the sound that you want to get out of it, and also the size of the venue. If you're looking at electric guitar amps, it's no different. Uh, if you want something that's going to be on stage and provide a, a small club with enough sound, there's amps for that. If you need it to fill a stadium, there's amps for that. If you want something small with a mic in front of it, there's amps for that. And if you want something that's a bluesy sounding amp or has a lot of clean room versus something that's really high gain, there's amps to cover all of those bases, and usually there's not one that does all of those things well. So we can help kind of sort through all of that if you are looking for something. Just go to our website, alamomusic.com. You can check out our amps, and you can also chat with someone, and they can answer a lot of these questions for you. But if you've been plugging into an electric guitar amp already, and you're kind of wondering why your acoustic guitar doesn't sound that great, that's why. Uh, because it's just not made for it. And if you're wanting something like this at home, by the way, it's really cool. If you don't have an acoustic guitar amp at home and you're wondering, yeah, it's just for home, should I get one? I will just simply tell you, something like this, where you can plug your phone into it through Bluetooth, play back songs that you're going to play over, you can loop, and you have built-in effects, it's kind of a bundle of creativity and a lot of fun. So definitely look at adding something like that to your practice room setup or even for uh, use on the go. Anyways, hopefully that helped you. And uh, I think it's pretty dramatic. So, you know, how could it not? Like, you're very welcome. This is free. I mean, come on. But if you don't want it to be free and you want to pay for it, we have a link <laughs> down below for that as well. We have a lot of fun on our Patreon page. You can check that out 
Um, and, you know, like I always say, at the end of the day, the very best guitar in the world is the one plugged appropriately into the amp that you should be plugging into that sounds pretty good and decent as you play it. We want you to keep playing. So, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, keep coming back for more, and I'll see you next time.